Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I'm going to be testing out the new Kimi K2, but also for the first time I'm going to be using Kilo Code as well. Now Kilo Code did actually reach out to me and offered to sponsor me a while back, but I'm not really very good with sponsorships to be to be frank, so I didn't take it, so now they're getting a free one instead. Now, just before we get into the video, I have just released a new YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it if you guys went to check out Shopify Surfers on YouTube. I'll leave a link to it in the description. The main reason I've made it, by the way, is because I want to try out a new marketing method, which is basically, yeah, having Shopify tutorials and then obviously advertising my Shopify SaaS inside those videos. If you want to check out SEO Grove as well, it will be one of the links in the description. It's an agentic Shopify platform, which basically automates your Shopify workflows for you. With all that being said, let's just jump into this. I have Kimi K2 right here. I'm going to do MKD Kimi, um, co uh, Kimi code, I guess, CD Kimi code. We're going to be doing the normal bog standard uh, creation of a Next.js service-based website. So we'll go to my classroom here, all my prompts and workflows. We'll create a new app. Now I'm going to do this exactly the same way that I did yesterday. I'm going to purposefully try and confuse it. Um, so let's just say yes, 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 yes. So it's inside this directory that we're currently inside, right? But I'm going to try and confuse it by not telling it that, basically. This happened yesterday with uh, Quen 3 Max, and Quen 3 Max actually did a pretty good job of dealing with it. The last thing we need is uh, some images. So let's just uh, go here. There's public. Okay, so we copy the public folder from another one of these projects. This basically just has images in for the project to use. Let's open up Kilo Code. We have Kimi K20905, which is the new model selected. And then we'll just wang this prompt in. I haven't said wang in a long time. Uh, architect or code ask plan and design before. So normally I don't let it. Okay, so let's just. Mm. Do we want to do orchestrate? Orchestrator could be good. I might just do code though, because I do normally run it straight away in code and I don't want to give Kimmy uh, an unfair advantage. It feels weird saying Kimmy. I don't know why they have to call it Kimmy. Okay, so a lot of people are saying this is a good model. Not only is it good, it's also extremely fast. Oh, there's also a cloak model out. Very interesting. Two mil context. Okay. Candy, stop, please. This is... Hello, Candy. I don't know if you guys can hear her meowing, but... Oh, very interesting. So this is a cloud model project with a maximally intelligent general purpose front-end model with two million times. I reckon this is Google, right? I don't I have to test this as well. I'm tired, guys. I don't want to... I don't want to sit here all day testing, but, like, I don't really have a choice. I literally just, there's just so much going on. Okay, so let's just stick to the video that we're currently making, and then I'll probably have to go and make a bloody Sonoma Sky video. Okay, so people are saying this is an extremely fast model. It's very cheap. It's got a very, very good um, context window. It's mix of agents, model weights, which means it is totally and completely open source, it looks like. This is very interesting. Now, it's been a while since I've had an open source model kind of blow my socks off. So we'll see how this goes. But, I mean, people do say this is an extremely fast model. Okay, guys. So I have to say I'm pretty impressed with Kilo Code, first of all. Um, it seems to be doing more than one thing at once, although it does have this bug here, although that could be Kimmy. And also, this is what we, what, this is what we got. So let's just have a little look. Uh, I think I need to see the... My next step, right? Something in there. Let's just try that. No, I don't. Okay, so it didn't actually change the home page, which can happen. It's not a massive problem. Um, it's quite an easy fix, to be honest with you. So if I go to slash en, um, this is insanely good. Am I? Is this really done by a free open source model? What the fuck? Wait. Yeah, it is. This is official. Holy shit, this is as good as Claude. I'm not even kidding, guys. Like, I know a lot of people say that, rip Claude, ha 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 ha, tongue in cheek, but 
This looks as good as ChatGPT 5 or Claude, I'm not going to lie. Now, it does have some problems, as you saw just then. There's a couple of 404s, there's a couple of errors here. You know, that's fairly standard um, for any build, to be honest with you. The birthday pages haven't been created. A bit of a shame here. Um, it's very close to being completely nuts. Um, but yeah, it's definitely missing a few things. And that didn't work either. The Italian does work. It does successfully put slash it, but none of the individual pages seem to be working, which is a bit of a shame. But I mean, overall, this is one of the best looking builds that I've actually ever seen, which for a free model, I didn't think I'd be saying this, to be honest with you guys, you know, obviously a lot of the time it's a bit tongue in cheek, like this is insane, this is insane, blah, blah, blah. But this is actually pretty insane. Like this is very, very high quality, very, very high quality. Um, I, I, I'm not going to fix the 404s right now, I don't think. It looks like the error is actually being caused by there not being an image. Um, and there's no placeholder image. So I think actually, I don't know, it doesn't exist. The page doesn't exist. I think I'll leave the video there, guys. I think this is actually the best open source model that I've ever used and ever experienced in terms of look and feel, especially. Uh, very, very impressive. And yeah, it's it's a free open source model and it's extremely cheap if you use it on open router. This only cost me one dollar seventy two. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, if you're watching on the way to the end, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more fun. Peace out.